The numbers 14 and 41 are the perfect numbers for Joshua and Terrell Adams. Identical, yet different at the same time. Though not household names to college football fans, these identical twins are two of the most courageous humans you'll ever meet. People ask me like, Josh, how do you do it? How did you and your brother like stay here so long after everything you've been through? And I just say, it's the team, like it's football. If I didn't have football at this school with that going on, I don't know what would have happened. Born one minute apart, the Adams twins have been attached at the hip. When it came time to play football in college, the two wanted to play together. Navy was the first school to offer both twins. It was surreal. I, I was like shaking when Coach Ingram called me. I remember just being on the side of my bed because it was like a Saturday morning. I had just woke up. Josh called me and he told me that Coach Ingram was about to call. Both Joshua and Terrell were wary at first about Navy. But advice from their parents, Jerome and Michelle, swayed them to come to Annapolis. They were just letting us know that this would be the best place for us. Develop us not only as football players, but as men. Just having the security of a guaranteed job, being here, also the benefits you do, you get afterwards uh, for your future family. Um, that's really what they was talking to us about. Uh, just what you're going to do after football. The Adams' time at Navy has seen its highs. And that's a tremendous play by Terrell Adams. But also unimaginable lows. Following their parents' visit for the Air Force game in 2021, the twins' world was flipped upside down. Towards the end of the weekend, she went to the doctor and stuff, and they confirmed that she had COVID. My last words to her was, I love you. They were heading back home, and like it started to get worse for her. My dad had to take her to like the ER. And ever since she was admitted to the hospital that one day, I don't think she ever left. On September 29, 2021, Joshua and Terrell Adams' mom, Michelle, died of complications from COVID-19. It happened when we were out on the field. Like our dad called us after practice and told us, hey, your mom didn't make it. And that's just one of the hardest things I've went through at this school. I remember our coach was leaving and they just, they made a UE, you know, um, they came back to support us. In a time of unimaginable grief, the Adams twins experienced yet another loss 24 hours later. Their grandmother, Sally Mae Still, also died of COVID-19 complications on September 30th. We knew that she was also in the hospital, but like we weren't expecting like both of them to like leave so soon. That's who I was really thinking of, my dad. Um, just trying to get home and be with him because I couldn't imagine losing my life partner and then my mom on top of that as well. On October 2nd, two days after the tragic news, Navy defeated UCF for the team's first win of the season. Following the game, the Adams twins received a call from the Navy locker room. And they just FaceTimed us after the game and just told us they, do it, they did it for us. So we take a picture after every win. We get such a blessing to have those guys. Following the death of their mom and grandmother, the last year hasn't been easy for the Adams twins. But through it all, the Navy football brotherhood was there for them. It's, it's been very therapeutic. It, it keeps our mind off it. And sometimes, you know, it's so off of the pain. You know, uh, sometimes I'm out there and I'm saying I'm playing for her. You know, it keeps me positive. At Navy's senior day this October, Joshua and Trell Adams walked out with their father. It was a special moment for the three of them. It's just like we've come so far at this place. It felt magical. It was a blessing to go out there with him and my family. It felt real good, like just to be out there taking those pictures with my brother and my dad and like having that moment. As Navy takes the field against Army Saturday, the Adams football journey may be coming to a close, but their next careers as officers in the United States Marine Corps is about to begin. The two of them know they're not the only people to have experienced loss and want to pass on this message to others going through a hard time. It's just keep going, just keep finding. If you can keep that positive mindset, try to find the positivity in everything that goes on, then I think you'll be okay. It didn't really matter like what we graduated as to her, but just the fact that we graduated, um, to see us both as second lieutenants, uh, I know she'd be proud of us. For Navy Sports, I'm Phil Bergman.